What's going on YouTube? DIY Bill here. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your Nest thermostat. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the second generation with this third generation and I'll show you how to do it. Um, you should not need any tools. Um, Nest supplies you with this little handy dandy uh, flathead slash Phillips screwdriver. Um, they supply you with um, the base, the do base, um, the screws, and the actual back plate. So I'm going to go ahead and take this back plate off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it with my razor blade because I painted quite a few times and I'm sure that that's stuck to the wall. The paint off of the back plate. I don't want to peel the paint off. I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy off the wall. Here's the back plate. So I'm going to unscrew these screws. Let me tell you about these wires real quick. So I have a, a, a heat and my AC come through um, one system, out through my furnace. Um, the yellow wire right here, Y1, that's for air condition. The green one is for fan. The white one is for the heat, and the red one is for power. So what I'll do now is um, disconnect these wires. Never want to touch them. So let's see if I remember how to do this. So I think you want to push the depression in, pull that out. One, push that depression in, two, three, and the power for the final one, four. So it's a pretty easy setup or flip flopping out. Um, The diagram is exactly the same on the second generation. The only thing that's different is the dock where it actually plugs into to get power. Um, that looks like a, more like a USB-C and this is like a parallel port like straight across. So um, it also comes with a level. The level is now on the top and it's blue versus the second generation it's on the bottom. No big deal. Okay. Before you completely tighten this up to the wall, um, you want to make sure that it's, it's level before you finish off tightening it. Both the back plate and the actual nest. Press this button in. Okay. So 
Y goes to Y1. G goes to G. W1. White goes to W1. And red goes to RH. Okay, push your wires back up in there. And that's it. Now we can go ahead and out the mess, the mess. Going to turn on. And let's see what we get. So I chose the white bezel. There were three different options. You had a silver, which is the one, the second generation, which is what I have. Um, a black one, all black, or the white one. So I gotta switch it up and go with the white. Go ahead and select language, uh, internet connection. Okay, let's then connect it. Uh, let me find mine. Okay, so now we're connecting to my internet. There we're sets online. Press the continue. So it's gonna go ahead and do an update. Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and set the location. It already picked up the location, so I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that. We are a single family home. It's going to ask me for the selection, uh, the location of the um, nest. It's in my dining room. Go to the equipment. I'm a homeowner. Equipment detected. Like I said, AC for the yellow, fan for the green, heat for the white, power for the red. Go ahead and continue. My heating system, my, my system is heating, cooling, and fan. Let's continue that. Um, I use, what is the fuel source for your heating? Mine is gas. Uh, what type of heating do you have? I have forced air. Let's go to temperature. Should nest begin by heating or cooling your home? Let's go ahead and go to cool since it's about 80 degrees out. Uh, save energy by using the eco temperature when no one's at home or turn them on manually at any time. I'm going to continue. I don't like that option. Um, so heat two. Uh, let's, let's go back to temperature. Cooling. Continue. So um, let's keep heat. And I don't want the heat to drop. Low 55. Cool to. I don't want it to reach over, I guess, 80 degrees. Let's go to done. System test. Nest is now configured for your system. Let me go ahead and continue. Your system is ready to test. You can test it now or test it later. Let's go ahead and test now. I want to test cooling. Testing cooling G Y1 wires. Air conditioning should be on. Check the vents that the air may take a few minutes to cool down. I'll check. It 
air is coming out. I'm going to say done. Done. I'm going to say done with the test because I don't want to test for heat. Let's go to the Nest app. Would you like to control this thermostat with the Nest app? I highly recommend it. I know people that don't have it connected to their app, connect it. Because when I'm away, I can easily go on my app and see what the temperature is. Yes. So it's going to get an entry key. There's my key. First thing I want to do is remove my old thermostat. So going to your Nest app, go to the settings. Scroll down to the thermostat, click on it, scroll down to remove, remove the thermostat. Yes, I want to remove. So now I only see my um, smoke detector. Okay, let's go ahead and add the Nest thermostat to the app. What you want to do is go to your settings. You want to add the product. Continue without scanning the QR code. Select Nest Thermostat. I'm going to say the thermostat is already installed. So now it wants me to enter the key. So I'll go ahead and enter the key. Done. Setup is complete. Finish. So that took all of about 10 minutes total. Uh, the longest part was actually uh, pushing the updates, letting it restart. Um, and that's it. So uh, hopefully I, I helped somebody um, replace their thermostat. It's fairly, extremely simple. Extremely simple. So um, anyway, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and comment. Give me a, uh, a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, so hopefully I help somebody. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.